Hello, ma'am. A very good afternoon to you. I am Kushal Gupta, a final year mechanical engineering student of Anand Engineering College. I, on behalf of Anand and the whole SDI family, welcome you to our alumni talks and initiative we have been working with since past few years. So, our alumni for the day is Ms. Pranjali Shivastav. She has been a student of Anand Engineering College of 2018 batch from CSC branch and is currently working with NTT Data as a software development analyst. It has been a huge pleasure, ma'am, to welcome you on this platform to share about your past experiences and success stories so far. So, very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, Kushal. So, how are you, ma'am? I am good. How are you? I'm also good, ma'am. So, ma'am, how was your journey at Anand Engineering College? Um, my journey at Anand Engineering College was superb. It was full of beautiful memories. Um, I still remember when I was in first year that fear of painful semester that crawls along me and I was having no hope of you know, reaching at the end. But eventually it, this, that semester flies and uh, I took a deep breath and realized, okay, it will pass, just steady. Uh -huh. So it was interesting. It was full of memories and uh, just amazing. <laughs> very nice, ma'am. So as expected, as, as the first year of every student is very harsh. <laughs> uh, obviously. <laughs> Then we become like, then we work that and become regular with the engineering. Yeah, exactly. So, ma'am, uh, why do you choose Anand? Uh, honestly speaking, I choose Anand College by only looking at its campus. As I felt it was beautiful that Keetham Lake uh, beside the college and all this huge campus. I just loved it and <laughs> I got there. Yes, ma'am, I truly accept that. The campus of our college is very mesmerizing. It's exactly. just beside the Keetham Lake and the huge campus and the beautiful building. It's very mesmerizing. Exactly. So, exactly. so ma'am, uh, how has the college helped you in shaping your career? Uh, Kushal, if I talk about college helping in shaping my career, I would go for two things. Uh, for any career to be, you know, uh, good, uh, there are two things. That is personality development and obviously academics. And I believe I took right choice to go in Anand Engineering College and study engineering there because that four year in the college helped me a lot. Obviously for the academics, the mentoring was superb. Uh, our faculties members, they start from the scratch. When I was in first year, uh, not only about me, I saw there are many other uh, you know, students who were not so good in the computer science, but they opted for computer science. So they start from very scratch and take you to the mm -hmm. end. So that was amazing. And for the second personality development, if I talk about Anand Engineering College has provided me ample number of opportunities to you know, explore myself, what I love, uh, what I can also do apart from academics, the co-curricular activities and all. So yeah, it definitely helped me in shaping my career for a good. Yes, ma'am. Very true, ma'am. As a student enters the college and the engineering uh, sector, so he needs uh, he needs the perfect guidance, and as he's unaware of anything, he's, he needs the perfect guidance. So here, that faculty, the faculties play a very major role. True, true. So, ma'am, uh, in what areas were you most active in during your college days? Um, in my college days, from the very starting, I was active in uh, cool curricular activities, including anchoring and uh, dance performances and also uh, organizing events. I was very active in that. But in the last year of my college, um, I was acting in ESEL. ESEL was established in 2017 in Amman Engineering College. So I was active in that. Uh, so, yeah. So, ma'am, uh, as you told that you were more, very active in organizing and all. So, do you <laughs> think uh, all these have helped you uh, in something or the other, in developing Obviously. your personality or the other? Uh, I could I could say it uh, very confidently, and I believe it that uh, at least ninety percent of confidence uh, to speak in public, to you know uh, interact with others, to uh, represent myself, my thought, to put my thought on the table uh, among others. I got the confidence from these all things. Uh, when in Anand Engineering College, we were uh, provided chance to do, you know, uh, road shows. 
there among a crowd you need to uh, you know point out a thing and to handle that crowd and apart from that anchoring on the stage uh, when you are organizing any event you need to take care of ample number of things in the background so their responsibility comes so these all things definitely help you in you know shaping your career for a good for developing your personality and all that very true ma'am that's very true so ma'am if i ask you about one faculty who inspired you the most who would that be and why official i can't take name of any single faculty because it would it would be you know injustice with them, uh, with them so um vinay sharma sir vinay singh sir rp sinha sir shikha ma'am uh, rajendra sir karnal datta sir uh, rashna khurana ma'am atul tarang sir there were so many actually i am taking these all names because they have inspired me in one or different thing uh, they have you know motivated me they have taught me a lot uh, in the four year of my journey in the college so i must have missed i know i have, i must have missed uh, many a names right now so uh, but yeah these all faculties played a very important role in my uh, you know four year journey in the college yes ma'am faculties really play a very important role in our life so ma'am what was your most favorite chill spot in the college and why uh favorite chill uh, spot was two first is snacks at uh and second one was architecture basement you know chilling <laughs> yes. out with friends in architecture basement at the lunch time grabbing you know lunch boxes of day scholars so uh, that was amazing experience i had so ma'am were you a hostler or a day scholar i was hostler so ma'am as you were a hostler how was your hostel life at anand and any memory you would like to share with us Uh, my hostel life in the college was amazing today also uh, that memories when i recall of my hostel days i feel like living it again uh, the one of the memory which i would like to share with you is that um, we used to sleep 3 am or 4 am in the morning and since we had our uh, first class at uh, 8 am or 8:30 am so we just you know uh, we just uh, wake up and just do things hurry hurry and they we go to classes and there we feel sleepy really sleepy and we would say it like okay teacher is seeing me so that was amazing experience i had in college and uh, the hostel also that uh, chilling out with friends doing a lot of gossips doing a lot of masti uh, holy days diwali days in college in celebrating in hostel that were amazing so uh, we can say that college life is a like is a huge package of uh, uh, curriculars uh, and the enjoyment both obviously and the hostel days were my golden days in the college <laughs> very true ma'am so uh, how was your experience with the college placement uh for the college placement my experience was really very good because uh when i was in third year uh, the pdp classes were there as you also know you also must be having that so uh, sanjay kulshesh sir roma koli ma'am they were like uh, they were picking up each and every students and trying to identify that where they are lacking how we can you know develop them for uh, a good to be in a campus placement so uh, i still remember uh, when the entity data was coming in my college so i three or four times i remember i went to sanjay kulshesh sir and asked sir my cv is okay uh, what the company will ask to me what how will interview be there so that all thing and the mock interviews taken by roma koli ma'am uh, so after taking the mock interviews they analyze our interviews and tell us that you need to answer this question in this way the company want this so that guidance they definitely helped me uh, to sit in any placement and to represent myself and got selected so it was amazing so we can say that training and placement and the both and the development both have played a very major role in your placements very true correct yes ma'am so any one thing you learned from the college that you will never forget no other option uh, of hard work you need to work hard if you want to score good you need to study if you want to build your uh, confidence you want to uh, if you want to be you know uh, like uh, to handle the crowd or public speaker anything you want to be you need to explore yourself you need to give your input in that 
that thing i learned from the college and it is helping me till now and i know and i hope it will help me in future also yes ma'am engineering is all about overall growth exactly and to explore yourself yes ma'am so uh, ma'am as you told that you were active in esel in your college during your final year so what yes. is esel all about Asi uh, yeah in 2017 anand engineering came up with the idea of esel and fortunately i had a chance to be president of that for one year so uh, we were uh, having vision with the esel that there are many students uh, who are not so good in uh, the academics or maybe good in academics but their ideas their creative ideas are so good that if that ideas are implemented they can be a good job creator in the market you know so uh, we were having the vision of identifying those students by doing some seminars some competitions organizing some competitions and all that so we were trying to identify that students and uh, you know shaping their ideas and representing their ideas in uh, you know a good platform so that they can get you know uh, the fund from there and all the things so the main idea was to identify those students those uh, creative ideas among the crowd to uh, take it on the front yes ma'am yes ma'am so ma'am connecting with the e cell uh, what according to you entrepreneurship play, plays a role in the growth of a nation uh kushal it plays a very important role i believe because uh, like there are many job creators are there already in the market but when we talk about ourselves we are studying in a college and if we have a idea a creative idea we can also be a job creator a good job creator there are many job seekers are in the market job opportunities are lesser than the job seekers so if one is being an entrepreneur one is uh, you know establishing their own firm and company that person will obviously uh, see heights in their in his future in his or her future but definitely he is providing a chance to other person also to you know uh, get employed or you know, all these things so it definitely plays a very important role uh, for nation also for an individual also uh, obviously yeah yes ma'am very true so, so ma'am as you are working in entity data so what is your company all about uh entity data is a telecom company it is a japanese company and it is the fourth largest company company in the telecom uh, field in terms of revenue so um i love about this company that it provides you a good environment to work and along with that it, uh, you know i have uh, in past two years of my journey at uh, entity data i am a constant learner over there i am uh, working in java profile but along with that i have options and they provide you the options to learn new technologies and if you are good in that you can switch to that technology in that particular firm uh, very easily so uh, it provides a chance to grow yourself uh, by learning new technologies and the things so yeah how is the life after college different from that of the college from college days very different in college we enjoy our days like we do uh, 30% academics work but all uh, the rest we 70% we enjoy with friends chilling out participating co curricular activities no person 200% uh, study over there but uh, yes. when you cross your college and you step in the professional field when you join any office there you need to be constant uh, learner you need to be focused that if you are doing this job uh, so you have to be 9 uh, 9 hours 10 hours available in the office you know you can't get bored over there usually people get bored but you can't get bored because that is the thing which you will uh, take closure to your aim in future okay so in college uh, if i talk about you know uh, batch mates and all in college you have a uh, first friendship then competition if you step out of college there is first competition then friendship yes ma'am very true uh, so these all things are very different from college and uh, you know uh, in the professional field so ma'am summing up with the session any message you would like to give to your juniors akush i'll be glad uh, sharing this uh, you know message with my juniors which i have experienced in college so college life is predictably unpredictable phase of your whole life so there yes. you need to balance it out 
balance between academics your curricular uh, co curricular activities and also uh, you know uh, the, your enjoyment uh, you're chilling out with friends and doing a lot of fun and musty because you also need to have create uh, you know create that memories which you can share for long life you know last so yeah you need to balance it out uh, between the academics between the co curricular activities between the uh, you know friendship and enjoyment so yeah yes ma'am very true so ma'am it was too much of knowledge and advice <laughs> from yourself uh, to the juniors and i hope they will reap the most out of it and thank you for joining us thanks a lot and i best wishes from my side and from the whole anand and the sga family thanks a lot ma'am from taking the time out of your busy schedule thank you ma'am for joining us thank you so much kushal and all the very best to you too and all my juniors of the college uh, yeah thank you so much for having me here yes ma'am i'll give you a record regards to your juniors as well <laughs> thank you so much so thank you ma'am thank you for joining us